Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Let's start another week. I hope the Ray Walk is doing each of you good. Be bringing a lightness, an inner peace, after you free yourself from all these feelings, stored over time. Yes, it's to rummage through everything, it's to go there in that little box, hidden among a bunch of trinkets, inside a dusty trunk, behind a bunch of furniture in the attic of the house. Yes, it's about turning everything over, it's as if you were wearing a coat with big pockets and you turned it upside down and everything fell out. That's the idea, is to work on that most guarded feeling, the one you made a point of forgetting. But now it has to come to the surface, so that you can transmute it, because it is there, it has not been lost, it is just forgotten. So many of you will even suffer for many things that you will remember. But this is part of the journey. Exactly, it means freeing yourself from these movements, these feelings, these actions that you practiced a long time ago. It's like I said here, leave the more complex ones for the last day. But if you've already finished your entire list, you can start doing it, no problem. But may they be the last, which is forgiveness, for the souls that you did not allow to come into this world. So this will be one of the last requests, the last transmutations. And be sure that if you are doing it with faith, trust, believing in what you are doing, everything will work out, and you will get rid of it all. You will see that many times, things will appear that you were not even aware of there. It doesn't matter. It's not about reliving the suffering, it's just bringing it to the surface and transmuting it. And he leaves, that little box will no longer contain anything. So I hope you continue this journey, until the seventh ray. Couldn't finish, start again. And one important thing, there was little left to finish, but it wasn't possible to finish in seven rays, you will restart and in the first ray it's all over. You will not stop there, you will follow the line until the end. They won't stop just because it's over. You will continue. And each day they will remain there, during that time, receiving that ray, intensely. So, whoever can't finish in the first turn of the wheel, start over, but do it until the end, even if you have nothing to transmute. At this moment, talk to the masters, ask them to guide you not to repeat those mistakes, that helps them to be aware and not make any more mistakes. Ask for it. Take advantage of this moment to make a mea culpa, and seek to change, try to change the way you perceive things. So ask the masters for help, so that you can achieve this. Today will be the white ray. Seraphis Bay. But as I started on Friday, talking a little about the blue ray, I mentioned to you that it was the ray of creation, so today I will continue with the second ray, which is the ray of wisdom. And I'm going to talk a little more about wisdom. The knowledge, the innate knowledge that each of you has. I'll start by saying that many here consider themselves extremely disadvantaged in terms of knowledge. These are people who didn't go to school much, they don't find it very easy to learn, and consider themselves to be extremely impaired in terms of intelligence. So I'm going to start by telling you. I can tell you that no soul likes to stay in one place. Everyone likes to learn, everyone likes to evolve, everyone likes to acquire knowledge, because this is also the evolution of the soul. That is why you incarnate in different cultures, in different languages, so that you accumulate knowledge and in this way also evolve. No one evolves by sitting still in the same place. You can learn new things every day, and this is part of the evolution of the soul. So for those of you who feel damaged, who sit and cry saying that life didn't help you, I can say that this is a characteristic of your soul. Do you remember when I mentioned about fractals, that there are those souls who don't like challenges? They don't like new things, they only like what they know. And if they stay there their whole lives, then everything is perfect, everything is great. So you are the physical representation of these souls, who don't like anything. They like what they have. If this is what life gave me, this is where I will live forever. Okay, is that good? No, it's not. You are aware that it is not, but where is the desire to move forward? Where is the desire to try to change this? 
where is the desire to believe that everything can be better? No, this will does not exist, because since your birth, your soul has always been like this. There needs to be someone to take your hand and pull you. Otherwise you won't walk. Is there any way to change this? There is, you just need to want it. You have your human consciousness, which overrides your soul consciousness, since you are incarnated. So act, act different from your soul. I'm going to tell you that it won't be easy, because your soul will keep telling you, ah, stop it, stay where you are, stay still. So you will have to have a lot of willpower to go ahead and not listen to your soul, and if you do this, you will succeed. And then your soul will see how much you made it grow, how much you made it evolve. So wisdom is not just in reading a lot of books. Why is reading a lot of books good? And do you remember them all? Did you learn any lessons from each book you read? If you managed to learn something, great, wonderful. Now if you read it, you finished it, you closed the book, you forgot everything you read, what was the point of reading that book? So being wise means knowing how to take advantage of information, knowing how to use it appropriately. It's reading trying to understand what's there, not reading just to read. Read like a machine and understand nothing, it's no use. Ah, I've read 500 books in my entire life. Very good. Have you applied any of what you read to your life? Have you learned something or just like to show off, with a huge shelf full of books? Ah. I've read them all. Tell me about that one there. It's... Um... Ah. Uh, I can't remember at the moment. Of course because that book didn't bring him anything. Now whoever actually reads the book and that book conveys some information, if someone asks, was that book good? It was wonderful, I don't remember the whole story well, but I know the plot has this, like this, like this, like this which is interesting. So you kept what the book wanted to tell you, that is in your soul, it is engraved in your soul. Then you will never forget, you learn something. Now read and when someone asks me what that book is about, they say ah, I don't remember, so you didn't read it, you just schemed the book. It's my brothers, you have a wrong impression of what it means to be wise. Being wise is learning from each lesson. And I'm going to tell you, there are many here who are wiser in life, not in living, wiser in life situations, of knowing how to get out of life situations, without having any education, than many of you, who reach the highest levels of study and when a complex life situation arrives, they get stuck, they don't know how to get out. So being wise means knowing how to understand what life is showing you. It's knowing how to plan how to get out of there, with the lesson learned. This is being wise. So don't level yourselves, based on the level of study you have, because many here don't have any education, but in the academy of life, they are giving a 10. Because they know how to get out of situations and they don't have any education, they may have the basics, but they can do it, they have the strength, the belief to understand each lesson and take a step forward. However, many of you sometimes get stuck for a good part of your life. So being wise is not having titles, being wise is not speaking many languages. Being wise is knowing how to arrive in a strange land, and turn around, speak with your eyes. This is the most perfect language that exists on your planet. Because speaking with the eyes comes from the heart. So there's no need for words, you demonstrate and with your eyes, you say what you want. This is being wise. 